Hey folks, um, I decided to try to learn some uh, escape and evasion and uh, other wilderness patrolling skills today by uh, going out and doing it. And uh, the way I did that is went to a the edge of this park here and infiltrated and uh, about 100 feet away from me was uh, a guy standing there uh, you might say a guard But uh, they were distracted, so I was able to move in under the brush and on cover of the rain. And uh, there's also a vehicle nearby, too. They didn't spot me either. So I figure it's pretty good. I made way too much noise, in my opinion, but uh, I moved when there was noise around, and uh, you would not believe the amount of spider webs, cobwebs on the forest floor here. So, um, and the varying heights of everything makes it difficult to travel and uh, move around quietly, especially with the undergrowth of ferns and everything. But uh, I found this nice little spot here where I'm completely covered on one side, this huge uh, mound here after this tree fell down. And there's a couple of them around here make uh, pretty effective walls for any activity going on. And the spot is pretty flat and not a whole lot of vegetation, so I could probably use this as a camping out spot or use it to um, a cooking spot or something like that. I thought about that. But um, I think I'm going to try to find one of the main trails and get on it, hopefully, just in case they, they send a, somebody out here uh, investigating all the sound and stuff. So, anyway, uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Infiltrated the main trail and uh, marked my entrance spot. So, I know that just a couple meters from that spot is a fairly concealed flat camping spot that I could use later. Um, not sure what kind of shelter I'd be able to put out there. Um, be able to put them, take down, and just a short notice probably um, could at least get away with wearing my field jacket system. That would probably keep me warm and dry enough, but um, probably sh use a shelter system or maybe my MSS as well, uh, tarp tarp system, or something. Anyway, so success, and uh, I guess I'm gonna try to find a spot uh, kind of secluded where. Maybe I can do some cooking, whether the cooking is okay or not. But, uh, anyway. It's just silly, <laughs> you know. Uh, but I'm safe. So, alright. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.
سام got on a path up the trail buying a big tree now big noisy laughy family went by didn't spot me though so um I'm hanging out here, making a brew, and uh, hopefully it'll work out okay. Hey folks, well I made it out of there, and I'm back on the trail again, enjoying some tea. <laughs> I forgot to bring any tea sachets, so, you know, using what I got out here, pine needles and stuff like that. Sorry to cut that last segment short. There's <laughs> the fucking dog and a uh, couple people kept their dog off the leash, which they're not supposed to do. And the dog uh, was inquisitive about me, obviously. And uh, didn't get in my face, obviously, but uh, oh, man. Uh, he almost came up, up on me there. Yeah, still haven't come across anybody talking to me about filming, thankfully. Because that would be hard to explain sometimes, especially out here in the woods. But anyway, um, yeah. Typical, uh, young people. No, no, uh, no idea about what to wear in the woods. Uh, you know, it rained just a 20 minutes ago, so, you know, I didn't even see them having an umbrella, but, whatever. Strange, strange. But, uh, they didn't talk to me, so that's a good plus. And, uh, you know, I <laughs> picked up that, uh, canteen cup, drank some, turned it over, stuffed it in the cover, <laughs> kept walking, kept it all in front of me, you know, walking in the opposite direction, moves far away from the, uh, target area as possible. Yeah. So. Uh, tried to be inconspicuous. Uh, probably didn't happen. And <laughs> the funny thing was, I had to turn back around eventually because there was, a uh, the lot with the, uh, CCTV cameras and all that kind of stuff that I showed you in a previous episode. So, <laughs> crazy situation. Anyway. Back on the trail, heading out. Um, one more note. Uh, it says this place is open till uh, dawn till dusk, and I've never seen anybody come out here at uh, dawn. Uh, of course, I've never come, seen anybody come out here uh, at night either, even though you're not supposed to overnight camp. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I might come out here at dusk or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, stay tuned.
funny that I uh, put so much effort to be hidden now. <laughs> I'm here right out in the open. Uh, so, but I'm out far enough into the woods that I guess uh, people don't go all the way down this trail. So anyway, I'm just chilling out, doing my brew here. And, uh, It's really sad when you can't even, uh, you know, cook or sleep in the woods anymore. What's up with that? Are we supposed to just, um, is nature just supposed to be sort of a passive zoo type thing that we just walk through? on these groomed paths. I don't think that's the way it should be. But, um... Yeah, that's the way it is. Unless we do something to change it. Pretty, pretty minimalist kit. Uh, as you can see, I'm not carrying my essentials bag with me, which I normally do, and it's a rare exception when I don't carry it. So, we'll see how that goes. See if uh, I can get by without meaning anything. Else. But uh, it's funny because every time I go through it and try to strip it down to bring it with me. You know, I, I always find that, you know, I need stuff, where when I try to take stuff out of it, I just find that, you know, I need something that, that's in there, and so it's, it's, you know, I need one thing in there, two things in there, three things in there, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to uh, ditch the whole thing, um, unless there's some particular objective behind it. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. Uh, as you can see behind me, probably, the uh, water is... Uh, going pretty good. I might have to make a water crossing at high tide, so I've also brought my aqua socks because you don't want to walk uh, on the beach uh, through, through this kind of beach because there's shells and everything and it cut your feet right up. So if I do have to do a river crossing um, or a, uh, cut across the bay, um, I'll have to change into those. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I, I usually schedule my walks around the tides, but now, you know, since we've got these, maybe I'll try it, try a, um, a high tide crossing uh, and stay out there a little bit longer. So we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, guys, uh, this is the high tide crossing that I was telling you about that I might have to take. Um, so. We'll see if I can make it through here without having to change my boots and uh, get into the aqua socks, but we'll see. Hang in there. Stay tuned. Okay, well, we had to do some jungle gymming through uh, that bit of trees over there. It was kind of tough, but um, we are through, and we didn't have to change our boots, so that's convenient. And although they're waterproof boots, so I could go pretty good in the in the water. Um, one of the uh, let's see this one here, right there. I don't know if you see it, but there's a hole right there. So if I walk through water on that, my socks would get pretty wet pretty quick. Uh, 
so yeah, I ripped a hole in it. It was my bad. Uh, but otherwise, they worked fine. I remember a couple uh, months ago stomping through puddles just to make sure they worked, and they worked good. But uh, and I ripped a hole in them, so they don't work too well after that. But these are cheap boots, so it's not too big of a deal. And uh, just looking at all the interesting fall colors going on here. That's pretty cool. Especially when I don't have to clean up all the leaves. Okay. See you guys later. Okay, folks, uh, this is take two. Uh, first take, too noisy. Water was too close to the water, so. Uh, here's take two. Uh, today, I'm doing my my iteration of an ultralight kit. Got my typical on-body kit, my inconspicuous belt line kit in the small pouch that we talked about earlier. Phone, keys, jacket around my waist. Usual stuff in the BDU pockets. Watch, compass, paracord, bracelet, all that kind of stuff. Sunglasses, hat. Um, carrying my hydration bladder today, camera pouch, phone, my uh, soft shell jacket, and uh, today my new kit is the uh, no cook meal kit where see we're in the park and uh, they don't let you do fires in the park especially uh, in this kind of weather wouldn't be good anyway because there's a bunch of dry leaves on the ground obviously because it's fall like this yeah so um in this kit, I'll show you what we have here. This is a uh, ration pouch. Show you the contents inside. Okay, so we've got a thermos with uh, hot water that was uh, heated to a rapid boil. Small cup for any kind of uh, other drinks I want to prepare or any, any uh, wild stuff that I find that I can uh, collect. And then our freezer bag cooking pouch from uh, freezerbagcooking.com. So this is our cooking cozy from freezerbagcooking.com. It has a Mylar bag inside, and it's just lined with this material here. Inside, it's got a Nor rice side. This is a Spanish rice. Some tin foil, just to heat, help as an insulator. Some tea bags. And a titanium spork. And some Dar Darjeeling tea. So, so this will be enough rice to uh, give me a full meal. And all I'm going to do when I cook it, pour boiling water up to here to cover the rice, and fold this over, put it in with the rest of the stuff to keep it hot, put the tin foil and the mylar. Line bag. 
and uh, then wait. That's all I have to do. All right. Thanks for watching. Okay, folks, uh, so we're going to stop here and uh, make our lunch. Seems like a good a place as any. Got a little seat here made by this fallen log, and we'll just uh, stand the cooking cozy up and put boiling water in and have something to eat. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, uh, another successful uh, instant rice meal here. Um, Nor instant rice mix, put the boiling water in there, wait 10 minutes, and I uh, just wrapped it in some tin foil here to make things a little bit cook a little bit faster and be a little less messy. And uh, there's my instant rice in there. Uh, yeah, okay. With my uh, titanium spork, and I threw it in there, my uh, freezer bag cooking cozy. And now I'm eating some hot food. Yum. Okay, uh, here's the crossing I was talking about. Again, here at very high tide. And, uh, thinking I need to change my shoes to get across this thing. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, because of the conditions, switched from the boots to the aqua socks and uh, took the legs off my pants, put them in my pockets. I don't know if you can see this, but the ground is littered with shells. You really don't want to walk on that in your bare feet. You're going to cut yourself up pretty bad, so let's try to make it across here, see how it goes. It should be interesting. switch my sunglasses out. Don't want these ones falling off. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's cold. Cold water. Oh, shit. This water's pretty deep. Might be swimming here. Shit. I can't get through here. It's getting too deep. This is a bad idea. Uh, well, oh, wait a minute. There's a path. Maybe I'll try to get around. Wish me luck. Might have been a really bad idea. Let's see. I need a boat. 